Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story will cover the 2023 Drone Trends Report from Skywatch. Our next story talks about 54 use cases for drones in public safety. And finally, we talk about Amazon unveiling a new delivery drone. Also, here are some job listings in the drone industry this week for anyone interested. 154 Photography is looking for a real estate photographer and videographer in Collin County, Texas. Oregon Beach Vacations has an opening for a photographer in Lincoln City, Oregon. Full Package Media is searching for a real estate photographer and drone pilot in Dallas, Texas. And finally, SAIC is hiring a remote pilot operator in Farmington, Minnesota. With that said, let's fly in. As we get closer to the end of the year, we begin to delve more into the latest trends shaping the drone industry. Skywatch, a company that's centered around the combination of technology and drone insurance, has put together its third consecutive drone trends report. Here are some of the top findings. One thing to keep in mind is that these trends will mainly apply to commercial pilots and not those who just fly drones for fun. That being said, let's dive in. DJI continues to dominate the US drone market with a 76% market share, up from 70.5% the previous year. Meanwhile, the other category consisting of various manufacturers with less than 1% market share makes up 18.4% of the market, with Autel and Skydio following behind at 4.6% and 1% respectively. The drone insurance landscape is undergoing a notable shift towards annual insurance plans, with annual policies surging from a mere 3% in 2019 to a substantial 15% in 2022. Furthermore, the adoption of whole coverage, or coverage that covers damage to aircraft, which started at a meager 5% in 2018, has skyrocketed to over 30% in 2022, suggesting a sustained and growing trend expected to continue in 2023. This past year, the DJI Mavic series continued to dominate the preferences of drone pilots, commanding a significant 41% market share, although experiencing a slight dip from the previous year's 46%. The other category represents 27% of the market, while Air, Mini, Phantom, Inspire, and Evo models collectively fill the remaining market shares, again noting that all of the other models are DJI drones besides the Autel Evo. Finally, emerging trends on the horizon include an uptick in the utilization of drones for specialized tasks like agriculture and inspections. Additionally, there's a growing curiosity surrounding waterproof drone technologies, which have the potential to introduce further diversity in the drone insurance landscape. Our next story dives into possible use cases for drones in public safety. We all know that public safety agencies use drones in their work, but do you know exactly how they're doing it? Our article in the description details 54 different ways drones can be used to support public safety work, but for now, I'll tell you the first 10. Some possible use cases include damage assessment, searching for victims, delivering emergency supplies, monitoring evacuations, mapping and situational awareness, post-disaster infrastructure inspection, hazardous material detection, communication support, flood monitoring, and landslide monitoring. Again, by clicking down below, you'll get an in-depth guide to drones and public safety, sharing different public safety drone models, legal considerations for starting a public safety drone program, and of course, 44 more ways drones can be used to support public safety work. And finally, Amazon has shared new photos of their Prime Air delivery drone, the MK30. The innovative new model will enable faster, quieter, and safer drone deliveries starting in late 2024. The MK30 represents a major advancement for Amazon's Prime Air program. Engineers developed the drone in just 18 months, building on years of research and dozens of prototypes. While their current drone flies during clear weather, the MK30 can operate in more diverse weather conditions, such as light rain, and even deliver packages up to five pounds in under an hour. So it will definitely be interesting to see how this drone progresses and if it will succeed its previous version. And before we wrap up, I wanted to let you know that our team is selecting our favorite drone fail submissions we've received this month, and we'll share a link to vote next week. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think about some of the findings on Skywatch's report? And what about Amazon coming out with a new delivery drone? Comment down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.